What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Today, I'm going to revisit an old friend of the channel, Destiny FOMO, because there's quite an uproar regarding her current situation and selling her game collection. Now, surface level, no big deal, whatever. Dig a little bit deeper, brings up a lot of questions. I had a lot of people reach out to me and say, hey Smash, what do you think about this? So let's do this. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, bell for notifications, comment. I don't care. I appreciate you just watching this video. Thank you for coming. Now, <laughs> regarding Destiny FOMO, where do I stand on her? I, this is going to be pretty lame. I, I don't have any issues with her. I, I genuinely don't. In fact, I would go so far as to say that I reached out to her earlier this year and attempted to apologize for any misunderstandings we've had in the past and try to move forward from that. To which she replied, noted, she's still keeping me blocked. Okay, to each their own, I get it. Before I go on to talking about what she's doing with her game collection though, I wanna make something abundantly clear here. I do not, nor have I ever, had an issue with Destiny FOMO, the person. My concerns stem from a much greater issue with the road that YouTube was going down, how OnlyFans could maybe manipulate people, things like that. But as far as what she was doing, I mean, <laughs> if it's working, work it, baby. Like, I, I don't have any issue with that at all. And I've rewatched the Destiny FOMO videos I made about her and more so her situation. And man, they were tame. They were tame as hell. And I got a lot of flack for it. People were pissed that I dared question anything. Which is funny because when the quartering did it, it was cool because he's a bigger channel and he can say what he wants. But but when I when I did it first and and said the same exact thing, in fact I'd argue I did it better. Of course, a little bias. I got a lot of flack for it, which maybe he did too, but it's not noticeable when you're a bigger channel. Whatever, whatever. I think what it stems from is back when I was starting out on YouTube, I was I was a tryhard. Like, I was pathetic. I could argue I still am, but at least I've come to grips with it. But I got, I got jealous of anybody who was surpassing me in subscribers and views and attention when I was trying my best every day and spinning in circles, not going anywhere. I mean, full disclosure, I got jealous. I got real jealous. I tried my best to hide it. I don't think it came out on camera, but looking back and knowing who I was at that time, even though I was hiding it, that's how I felt behind the scenes. I was very jealous of her. And it's funny how, how time passes. It, it makes you realize your, your past transgressions, your, your approach. And it gives, you, it gives you new eyes to look at situations. So regarding Destiny FOMO, doing her thing on YouTube, growing like crazy, using her assets to assist, more power to her. I think a lot of people want me to go at her and, and, and you know, just rip her to shreds. I'm like, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't hate the player, you know? She's, she's doing it. Now, I will argue, like, if you're sending false copyright strikes to people or maybe taking offense to certain channels, not me, but to certain channels that are critiquing you aggressively and you don't want that negativity out there and you're doing whatever you can to shut them down, that, that, that's a little bit different. But I can't speak to that because I don't have all the information on that. Now, regarding Destiny FOMO selling her game collection and what she's doing with her channel moving forward and 
how it could be looked at as pulling the rug out from under the people that enjoyed her content for gaming, which I'm sure there are some that purely subscribe to her for her in-depth knowledge of especially retro gaming. I guess you can unsubscribe. <laughs> you have that power. But I'd like to think uh, we all know better that most people subscribe to her because of her. Not because of her game collection. That was something that could be used to assist in luring some people over and, and finding out about who she is as a person. But ultimately, people stayed because she's very easy on the eyes. I also find it very funny, just quick side note, that there are people out there that are like, oh, she's ugly, she's uh, whatever, she's, oh, she thinks she's all that, and a bag of chips, she's she's nothing, she's this, that, the other, I'm like, bro, alright, you've probably never had an attractive girl in your life, so this is how you deal with it. I mean, I guess to each their own, if you don't find her attractive, congrats, but no, she's a beautiful girl. Coming from a very happily married man, who also is married to a very beautiful girl, I feel like I can... I can say that without bias, like, to me, she's a very beautiful girl. And she uses that to assist her on her journey. I, I mean, I can't say if I was her, I would do anything different. <laughs> so, just wanted to get that out of the way real quick here. Selling the game collection, though. It's YouTube. You can do whatever the hell you want with your channel at any time. If I wanted to turn this into a, a nature vlog, which would be probably pretty lame, but I just, I had the passion to do that. I'd be like, holy crap, look at that dung beetle on the ground. I could do, it's my channel, I can do that. I have the right to do that. Anybody that creates a channel can do whatever the hell they want with their channel and either suffer the consequences or reap the rewards, depending on how the community takes the direction that you go in. I feel like people could look at the situation as she used games to lure in the, the simps, if you will, and then moving on to the next conquest, knowing that most people will stick around for whatever she does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's, that's on the viewers. Like they, they've created a, a connection with somebody and they want to continue that with wherever the person goes. I just, I find it funny. Every time I talk about her, people think I have this crazy negative outlook on her. And I'm like, no, I actually was just jealous of her ability to, I think manipulate's a very strong word, but to create an atmosphere to welcome people in an area that might not have been 100% genuine. Like, maybe it was like, she she likes games, yeah. But I, I think, I, I can't remember if I said this in a video or I talked to a friend, but I think I did call this a long time ago where I was like, yeah, she's just using games to get people's attention and then she'll move on from that once she's ready to. Here we are. <laughs> but, I mean, I, again, I'm not, I'm not knocking her. I just, I find it funny that th there's a lot of, um, we'll say, fans that are willing to protect her for any reason whatsoever and go completely out of their way to do so at all costs. And anytime someone says anything even slightly critical of her, they are the worst person on the planet. And I'm like, bro, reassess your life and your values. Take a look in the mirror. Where are you going? These people, they might be using you. And if you're okay with that, more power to you. You have that choice too. I do like how uh, in her video, talking about how she's thinking of selling her collection, she <laughs> she knows what she's doing, guys. Like, you got to give her some credit. She's not a moron. She knows what you're coming for. And she, she definitely uh, takes full advantage of that. Again, not knocking it, but that's what she's doing. <laughs> And in the collection video is classic. She's like, I don't know if I do this, if people are going to come here anymore, or this, that, the other thing, as the camera is zooming in on her chest. It's classic. 
like you gotta laugh you gotta laugh because she knows what she's doing you know like I, I would hope she'd at least admit that i don't know but a destiny i know i know you're gonna watch this i'm extending an olive branch or whatever the saying is to leave the past behind and move forward Accept it or not, it's fine. I'm not going to lose sleep over this. But I'd like to admit that I might not have been perfect with how I handled the situation. And I think we could argue that you weren't either. And that's fine. I think we both learn and we both move on. Water under the bridge. I've learned in my YouTube career that maybe... Holding grudges with people just for the sake of hanging on to them. It's, it's too tiring. It's worthless. It's, it's just, it's useless. Like, why would you do it? If, if it's negative and, and frustrating you and stressing you out in real life, you got to let go and maybe move on from it. And I mean, I'm trying to do that. Not that I'm saying like everyone is innocent and that I'm moving on from, from any issues I've had with everyone. But I feel like the past year of, of reevaluating my YouTube career, I've learned what's important and, and what's not. And holding on to grudges just for the sake of holding on to them, for me, it's not worth it. I've already made amends with multiple YouTubers out there that I've had some beefs with. And while we might not see completely eye to eye on issues, we we've, we've at least tried to, to 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 set the weapons down and shake hands and just move on with our lives so those are my thoughts on destiny fobo and potentially getting rid of her collection i mean it's up to her it's it's her thing <laughs> just cuz she's a beautiful girl and and she might have use those games to manipulate people into subscribing to her and now she's moving on to conquer something else okay i genuinely believe that's the reality i genuinely do but i'm also saying at the same time that's that's youtube people have done far worse for far less in the past and it's her channel i've told people about this back when i first was introduced to her and now it's come full circle. Here we are. I mean, <laughs> do with it what you will. But at the end of the day, we're all, we're all human beings. We all deserve a certain level of respect. And I think we all just need to understand the situation and how complex it really can be. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash.